Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 222 South Palo Alto Drive. That's 222 South Palo Alto Drive. Down in Floresville, Texas, this is in the estates of Eagle Creek. This is a beautiful home. As you can see, this beautifully paved driveway up to the home. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, approximately 2350 square feet, built in 2001. As you can see, this home sits on a large two acre lot. It's about $13,000 underneath the county appraisal. This is a fantastic opportunity, beautiful home in a beautiful area. Big lot that sits back from the road. Exterior of this home is a combination of brick and hardy plank and it's actually in great condition on the exterior. One thing about it is it doesn't currently have a garage. But plenty of parking. You do have this covered structure here where you could park. Come back and take a look at this. A little covered area here. It's a little storage shed as well. Floresville, if you're not familiar with it, is just south of San Antonio, kind of southeast actually. Take a look inside the shed, see what's going on in here. Well, it's just a little storage shed, pretty basic. There is electricity in here, they do have power in here. Let's take a look at the inside of the home. Before we walk into the home, we'll take a look at the rear here. Nice wooden deck around the property. Exterior wise in decent shape. Hardy plank is nice because it's very durable. Let's take a look at the inside. Before we walk in I just want to show you this beautiful front porch. Now we step into the home and it does have laminate wood floors, which is nice. Very tall ceilings and crown molding. If we turn to the left here, we have a formal dining room. Formal dining room does also have crown molding. It has an entryway into the kitchen and it does have French doors on each side of the opening here. So that's kind of a nice accent. It probably needs a fresh coat of paint. I think you can probably salvage the flooring at least for a while. We have your big open living area here. You have some built-in space there. You have a nice fireplace. These windows give you access into the backyard. Now one thing I didn't see off the backyard, when we come back here on this rear deck, it does have this little sunroom here, which is kind of nice. And they put a little AC unit, a little HVAC unit in there, which is kind of neat. Now we come over to the kitchen, very open kitchen. There's a small space here for like a breakfast table if you wanted to put that there. Big island, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinetry space. Currently does have the dishwasher and the oven, but the refrigerator is gone. A good sized pantry right there. And then you have that entryway into your formal room. It does have a pocket door here. I just thought we thought those were neat as a kid. Now we come around over here and we have your half bath. So through here, we're also with a pocket door. Pocket door there. Uh, half bath is a single vanity and a commode. It is missing the mirror, but it's pretty minor. And then you have your indoor utility room. Washer and dryer connections are in here. A little storage, you could probably put a, a freezer in there too if you want. And then this door takes you to your outside, to your parking area. So if you were to park there and come in, you'd be right here into your kitchen. Now at the rear of the home is where we'll have your master bathroom, master bedroom. Here's the master bedroom, bedroom number one. Needs a fresh coat of paint, as I said. I think you could probably salvage these wood floors. They look decent. It looks like they went through with the theme of pocket doors throughout the home, with the exception of the closet. Here's a master walk-in closet, good sized closet. Has tacked down linoleum flooring in here. They went with kind of a cheap flooring in here. You could probably salvage it, but if you wanted to make it nice, you could upgrade it if you like. It does have dual vanities, very high ceilings, and then it has a standalone shower only. 
interesting thing about the master bath is it does have a door that closes off. So almost as if your guests could use it, but they would probably be better use uh, the half bath. Now it has an interesting room here and it's a little dark. There aren't any windows in there, but hopefully you can see with the lighting, it is a little office. So it has a little desk area, lots of cabinetry space, closes it off with these two doors. We have your bathroom number two. Bathroom number two is a single vanity. It's a little dark in there, guys. Shower and tub combo and the tack down linoleum flooring in there as well. Then we have bedroom number three right at the front of the home. Bedroom number three looks like it may have had some kind of a little ceiling issue, but they sprayed it. It looks like they textured it. They just need to paint it. It needs carpeting in here. And then right next to that, we have bedroom number three. Really good sized bedrooms. The high ceilings make them seem even higher or even bigger and larger. And then they have, this room's gonna need some carpeting and then we're back out into your main living room. All in all, a beautiful home. As I said, it is under the county appraisal. Uh, this one here is listed under the county appraisal about $13,000 and all it really needs is a little bit of touch up paint and maybe a little bit of flooring. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 222 South Palo Alto Drive. That's 222 South Palo Alto Drive down in the estates of Eagle Creek in Floresville. This is a beautiful home. Sits back on two acres, is about $13,000 underneath the county appraisal, really needs minor touching up, and is listed right now for only $215,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.